Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a strength workout for runners. All right team, you will need something to slide on. So I am standing on a pretty fuzzy carpet. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide on that. You can also use paper plates or really fuzzy socks if you're on tile. Um, and you can use that to slide back with. Other than that, team, you don't need any equipment. Just get your mat and your water bottle and let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start with just a simple warm up. We're gonna start with some butt kickers. All right, team, if you don't want impact, it's perfectly okay to slow it down right here. All right, team. Good. You guys are probably used to this, probably pros. It's almost like a jog in place, a little more dramatic. Perfect, team. I'm gonna have you come into hip opener to shuffle, so I'm gonna go ahead and come over to one side of my fuzzy rug here. Big swing of the hip, big opener, shuffle over to the other side. Big swing and shuffle back. All right, team? Good. Good, focus on this swinging of the hip. Loosen up that hip joint. As runners, I know we're often tight right here. Good. Perfect, let's go with two more. Perfect team, we're gonna come into some overhead squats. So go ahead and come into your natural squat stance. I'm gonna have come down as the arms come up, sink down into that squat, all right team? Good. Try and get a little deeper with each rep as you get looser. Good. Beautiful team. And in today's entire workout is gonna be pretty low impact. Looks like we get enough impact from lots and lots of running, so. Give those joints a break, and we're gonna build the muscles around the joints. Good, let's go with one more. Perfect team, come back into those butt kickers. Good team. Good team, stay with me. Give my just the warm up. Go at your own pace here. Perfect, go ahead and come over to one side. Back into those hip opener to shuffles. Good. Big swing in the hip here. Good team. Good. Let's go two more. Beautiful team, back into those overhead squats. Go ahead and come into your natural squat stance and come on down. Try and sink a little deeper this time. Now that we're feeling a little warmer. Good, keep your weight in those heels. Good team. Good. Beautiful. Good, let's go with two more. Last one. Beautiful team. Feet nice and wide here. We're gonna go ahead and come into a lateral lunge. So I'm gonna put my feet nice and wide, lunge over to one side. I've lunged over to my right side. Left arm reaches up and over, and then I'm gonna switch sides. Good. Good, team. Switch at your own pace here. If you wanna kinda of hang out on one side, maybe it's feeling good, you can. Good. Good, two more. Last one. Beautiful team, let's come on down onto the mat, onto all fours right here. We're gonna go ahead and come into a cat-cow stretch. So, big arch in the back, look forward, good. And curve belly button to spine. Make sure your feet are nice and aligned here. It's really common to let them fall in like this. So, knees under the hips and feet in alignment with the knees. Arch, look forward. Good, and curve belly button to spine. Good, let's go with one more big arch. And curve. Perfect team, we're gonna come into some hip circles. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my left knee up first. I'm gonna use my knee to draw this big circle, but the focus here is focusing on opening the hip joint. So the knee is just the driver. I'm gonna draw like three big circles one direction and then switch directions. 
Good team. Beautiful team. Same thing, other side, the right knee comes up and around. Good. Good team, switch direction. Good. One more. Beautiful team, go ahead and curl those toes under, peel the hips up, come into this nice down dog, pedal the feet out right here. Good. Stretch out those calves, I know I always have tight calves after lots and lots of running. Perfect. Go ahead and bring that left foot up to the outside part of your left hand, come into this nice runner's lunge, drop the hips a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and plant my right hand, reach the left arm up, big twist right here, alternate between here and bringing the elbow down towards the ground. Good. We'll do that a few times till we're feeling loose. If you can't touch the ground, maybe you're only coming right here, right here, that's fine. Just try and get a little lower each time. Perfect team, go ahead and plant the palm, step back, shake it off a little bit. Same thing, other side, go ahead and step that right foot up to the outside of the right hand. Drop the hips here. I'm gonna plant the left palm this time. Right arm twist up, open up towards the ceiling, and then bring the elbow down. Good team. And if you're anything like me, you might be, might just discover you're a little tighter on one side than the other, that's okay. Maybe we just need a couple more rotations on one side. Perfect team, go ahead and plant the palm. Step it back, last little shake off right here. We're gonna walk the hands back towards the feet, roll up, and let's get ready to rock. All right team, so coming into our first circuit, we're gonna start with a squat to calf raise. I'm gonna go ahead and put my feet in my natural squat stance right here. I'm gonna come down and come up onto the tippy toes, big calf raise, big squeeze in the calves right here. If you wanna make it a little more explosive, you can use your arms to come up with a little bit of power. All right team, we got 45 seconds right here. When you're ready, let's work. Good. Good. But don't get so focused on speed that you're neglecting form. Make sure you hit this squat nice and hard. Good. Beautiful team. Good. I know a lot of runners kind of neglect strength training. So they're afraid it'll add some weight to them, give them more to have to carry when they run. But having muscles around those joints is gonna help you prevent injuries needs to be a part of every runner's program, no matter the distance. Beautiful team, shake it off. We're gonna come into some sliding reverse lunges. So I happen to be on a fuzzy carpet, so it's okay for me to just slide back from here. Otherwise you might need fuzzy socks or paper plate, or if you have actual sliders, you can use that too. All right team, so I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna slide my right foot back into this reverse lunge and back up. Make sure you're keeping your weight in your front foot right here as you drag this foot forward and back. All right, team? And if you wanna add a little bit of weight to it like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my water bottle and use that as a weight. If you have an actual weight or a thing of laundry detergent or a water bottle, you can use that, all right, team? So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it in my right hand while I slide the right foot back, all right, team? We got 30 seconds, we're gonna stay on that same side. When you're ready, let's work. Good, team. Beautiful. See, so yeah, I'm used to filming outside, so it's like eerie how quiet it is in here. Good team. But it is pouring rain out, so it has been for like two weeks now. So I was like, all right, I need, to, I got to come up with an indoor location. My YouTubers want their workouts. Beautiful team, perfect, same thing, other side. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the weight in my left arm this time, and the left foot is gonna slide back. We got 30 seconds, team, let's work. Good. Beautiful. Good team. Good. We've got about 10 seconds left. Perfect. 
perfect team. Go ahead and drop the water bottle. We're gonna come into some single leg tempo deadlifts. All right, team, so as a runner, you guys know, the majority of the time when you're running, you're either on one foot or you're on no feet, kind of like mid stride, right? So that single leg work is really essential to making sure we're nice and balanced. All right, team, we're gonna come into a single leg tempo deadlift. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips right here. The tempo is gonna be three, two, one. So what that means is I'm gonna go nice and slow on the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the right foot up. Come down, one, two, three. I'm gonna hold it here, one, two, and then pop up for one. All right, team, so we're gonna count these reps out together. We're gonna go for 10 on each side. When you're ready, let's work. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, that's one. Two, three, one, two, one. Good. Two, three, one, two. Good, we're at three. Three, one, two, one. Good, team. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, halfway there. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful, team. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, we got three more. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, last two. One, two, three, one, two, one. And last one. One, two, three, one, two, one. One, beautiful team, shake it off. That hamstring should be working. Make sure you keep your weight in this heel here. You pull from your glutes and your hamstrings to stand this back up, all right team? And the front leg doesn't need to be stick straight. You can have a slight bend in it, a nice soft bend in the knees, all right team? Other side, when you're ready, let's work. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful. Two, three, one, two, one. Good, one, two, Three, one, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good team, that's four. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, we're halfway there. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful team. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, three more. One, two, three, one, two, one and last two. One, two, three, one, two, one, and last one, team. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful. We're gonna come down onto the mat. We're gonna work on that core strength a little bit. So come on down onto your booty right here. You're gonna go ahead and lean back so the core is engaged. Bring the feet up off the ground if you can't. Otherwise, it's okay to keep them down if that's just a little too intense. Just go with where you're at today. Otherwise, team, go ahead and bring those feet up and we're gonna pump the arm. We're gonna pump the arms from here just like you would if you were running. Just right here. Use your oblique so that you don't accidentally fall over. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds right here. Let's work. Good. Beautiful, team. Good, nice strong core. So nice and tall. I should have worn shorts. I'm used to dressing warm now because I'm always outside. But it's hot up in here. Good. Good team. A few more seconds. Beautiful. Come on up. We're going to take that circuit from the top. So we'll go ahead and come back into those squat to calf raises. We got 45 seconds right here, team. When you're ready, let's work. Good. Good team. Hit that squat nice and hard. Good team. Good, we're about halfway there. Remember to pace yourself. 45 seconds is a good chunk of time. You can get a lot of squats in. Good team. Got about 10 seconds left. Good team. Perfect, shake it off. We'll come back into those reverse lunges, sliding reverse lunges. I'm gonna step forward a little bit. We got 30 seconds right here, team. I'm gonna go ahead and lead with the opposite foot this time. I'm gonna go ahead and slide back the left foot. I'm gonna grab my water bottle. 
Almost forgot my little added weight here, but you can definitely do this with just body weight. All right, team, we got 30 seconds right here. Let's work. Good. So I always feel like um, whichever is the second side I do, I'm already a little fatigued by the time I get to it, so it doesn't really get as much as the first leg gets, but I like to alternate which side gets to go first. Good. Beautiful team. Perfect, shake it off. Same thing other side. Go ahead and put the weight in your right hand as the right foot slides back. We got 30 seconds, team. Let's work. Good. Good. Good, team. Good. Good team, less than 10 seconds. Stay with me. Sneak one more in there. Beautiful team. Go ahead and drop your weight or a water bottle or laundry detergent, household item. All right, team, we're gonna come back into those single leg deadlifts, but this time the left foot's gonna go back first, all right? When you're ready, team, we'll count these out together. Tempo deadlifts. Let's work. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good. Two, three, one, two, good. Two, three, one, two, one. Good, that's three. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful team. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, we're halfway there, that's five. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, last three. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, two more. One, two, three, one, two, one, and last one, beautiful. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful team, shake it off. Same thing, other side. Go ahead and plant that left foot and the right foot's gonna slide on back. When you ready? Let's work. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good. Two, three, one, two, one. Good, that's three. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good team. One, two, three, one, two, one. One, good, halfway there. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful. One, two, three, one, two, one. Good, last three, team. One, two, three, one, two, one, and two more. One, two, three, one, two, one, and last one. One, two, three, one, two, one. Beautiful team, come on down. Last exercise of this circuit. It's gonna be that little bit of core work here with that arm pump. So when you're ready team, go ahead and lean back, engage those abs, bring the feet up. We got 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. Good. Use those obliques. If you want, you can even faster arm pump, like you're sprinting, you can tune it up. <laughs> Good team. Good. Good, somebody that clicked on the video might even be sprinters. I am not, I used to be mid distance in like high school. Now I'm old, so <laughs> I do like, my 10Ks are my favorite. Perfect team, beautiful. You can pause the video if you want, take a break, get some water, and we'll come into a second circuit. All right team, so coming into a second circuit, the second circuit is primarily going to be on the ground. So you can go ahead and get down and comfy. First thing first, we're gonna come down all the way flat onto the mat, carpet, whatever you're at right here. And we're gonna come into some pause Superman. So both arms and legs extended. I'm gonna lift all four limbs up and hold at the top. One, two, three, and drop. All right, team, if this is too intense, you can also lift opposite arm with opposite leg and just go one side at a time. All right, team, wherever you're at today, do what's best for you. We're gonna count these out together. We're gonna do 10 of these. So when you're ready, team, let's work. One, two, three. Good, that's one. One, two, three. Good, team. 
One, two, three. Working on that all important core strength. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good team, halfway there. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Beautiful team, we got three more. One, two, three. Last two. One, two, three. And one more. One, two, three. Perfect team. We're gonna come back into working on those Abba Dabba. So go ahead and come on up, flip over. We're gonna start right here on the center on our booties right here, right team? We're gonna go ahead and bring those feet up. You can go ahead and hold on to the backs of the thighs for support right here. When you're ready, we're gonna let them go right here. Palms up, we're gonna extend out together, then lean a little bit over to the left side. Out, together, center, and over to the right. All right, team, so we're gonna go center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right. All right, team, we got 30 seconds right here. When you're ready, let's work. Good. Beautiful, team. Good. Good, nice strong core. Go at your own pace here. Good team, we got about 10 seconds. Beautiful. Perfect team. Shake it off, we're gonna come down flat onto our backs right here. And we're gonna come into some glute bridges. I'm gonna scoot forward. I'm a little more centered. All right, team, we go 25 glute bridges. We're gonna count these out together, push through the heels right here. When you're ready, let's work bringing those hips up. Big squeeze in the glutes. One, good. Two, three, lift up as high as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good. 10, 11, 12, good team, 13, 14, 15, we got 10 more, stay with me, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, good, 21, 22, last three team, 23, 24, 25. Perfect team. So stay up here. Keep that squeeze in the glutes. We're going to come into some hamstring slides. So again, you'll need your sliders. In my case, a fuzzy carpet, fuzzy socks. You're going to go ahead and slide. Stay on the heels. Slide those feet out. Big squeeze in the hamstrings. Back up together. All right, team. If that's too intense, you can also go one side at a time. Keep the glutes elevated this whole time. All right, team. When you're ready, we've got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. Good. Beautiful team. Good. An all important hamstring strength. Good team. Good, we got about five seconds left. Good. Beautiful team, go ahead and drop. We're gonna flip back over, take that circuit from the top into our pause Superman. So come down flat onto the belly right here, arms up. When you're ready, team, we'll count these out together. We got 10 pause Superman. Let's work. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good team, that's three. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Halfway there. One, two, three. Beautiful team. One, two, three. Good. Three more. One, two, three. And last two. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. Perfect team. Come on up. We'll go back into that alternating side cocoon. Center left, center right. So go ahead and come onto our booties right here. Hug the knees up, bring the feet up off the ground. When you're ready, team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. 
Beautiful. Good. Pace yourself. Good team. Good. Beautiful. Less than 10 seconds left. Beautiful team, shake it off. We'll come back into those 25 glute bridges. So come on down flat and we'll count these out together. When you're ready team, push through those heels, big squeeze at the top, let's work. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good team, work the booty. Nine, 10, hips nice and high. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, last 10 team, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, last five, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good team. Hold it. Sliding hamstring curls. We've got 30 seconds and then we'll come into a cool down. All right, team, when you're ready, let's work. Good. Beautiful. Good. 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 Beautiful team. Nice strong legs. You know you need them. Good. Good team, a few more seconds. Perfect team, go ahead and drop the hips. Excellent work. Roll on up and we're gonna come into a cool down. All right team, so coming into a cool down, we're gonna start with a butterfly stretch. So go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet together here. You can grab onto your feet. You can even rub them if you want. Go ahead and press the knees down towards the earth and your heels in towards your butt. Good, so nice and tall here. No slouching butterflies, nice and tall. Proud butterflies. You can be a flying one if you wanna wiggle the knees. Good, if you're like me and your feet get sore after running, you can definitely give yourself a little foot massage here. A little love, why not? Good. All right, if you're feeling good there, go ahead and bring the legs up. Scooch forward a little bit. We're gonna come down onto our backs come into a nice piriform stretch. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross the right ankle over the left knee, bring that up, loop my hands through, interlace the fingers right here, and give this leg a little tug, a little stretch in the piriformis. If this is too difficult, maybe we're not ready to loop through yet, that's okay, just come up as high as you can. Good. Good, deep breaths here. Perfect, go ahead and unravel, go the other direction. Left ankle over right knee, loop through, interlace the fingers and give a little pull right here. Good team. Good. Good, go ahead and release, roll on up. We're gonna come into a hip flexor stretch. So I'm gonna keep my left foot up, the right knee down. If you need to put a little padding under this knee, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and push this left hip crease back and the right hip forward, and then lean into this hip flexor stretch. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of the right hip flexor. team. If you're ready, you can take that imaginary big beach ball, reach it forward, up and back, sink a little deeper into this stretch. Good. Go ahead and unravel. Walk that left foot out a little bit further. Go ahead and flex the heel. Keep a nice generous bend in the knee here. No reason to lock perfectly straight, but keep a nice generous bend in the knee. Bring the palms down and come into this nice runner's hamstring stretch. Good. If you want to work on straightening the knee, you can. 
but focus on sensation over shape. Don't feel obligated to have this perfect, oh, of course, knee to nose, I can do that. Just, you know, focus on the sensation and do the best you can. Perfect, and go ahead and roll through that front foot. Step it back and same thing, other side. Go ahead and bring that right foot up. You can cushion that left knee if you need to. Peel back this right hip crease. Push forward the left one and then lean into this. Without focusing on the hip movement, it's really easy to end up with this really big lean. So make sure you're nice and pelvic tucked here. Peel this hip crease back and the left hip forward. Good. You feel that your forward lean is significantly less, but you will feel a much better stretch. That's what it's all about. Good. Good team, go ahead and take that big beach ball, reach it forward, up, and back. Good. How many of you guys, if you are a runner, um, just probably why you clicked on this video, <laughs> how many of you guys miss races? COVID mess with a lot of people's race plans, right? It's okay. I did a lot of virtual runs. I'm like, I'm okay. I still got my runner fix. Good, go ahead and unravel. Walk that right foot forward a little bit. Peel up that right toe, flex the heel here, and come on down, plant the palms. Knee down, or sorry, nose down to knee. Good, so I'm actually at my um, my friend's place. I'm a little jealous of this lovely carpet that she has. I really want one now. They're like, they're quite convenient and they're soft. Home decor. Good team, go ahead and roll through that front foot. Step it back. I'm gonna go ahead and come into an up dog position. So walk the hands out, up dog or cobra. Come on down flat onto the mat right here. If you wanna do a little baby cobra, kind of bring the palms under the shoulders right here and just kind of come up a little bit into this little baby curl where I get a little back stretch, peel the shoulders away from the ears. Or if you're feeling a little flexible, a little warm, go ahead and come all the way up into an up dog, press into the tops of those feet, knees should be off the ground, and pull the shoulders away from the ears. Good. Good, go ahead and lower back down. Good, all right, peel those hips back on all fours right here. If you're ready, we're gonna curl those toes under. Peel the hips up into a nice down dog. Pedal out the feet, shake out your fluff. Good, a little stretch right here. And when you're ready, we'll walk the hands back towards the feet. Roll up, I'm gonna come a little more centered here. I'm gonna take the feet out really, really wide, like wider than you would for a lunge. And then from here, I'm gonna point the toes slightly inward. All right, team, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hands on the hips here, nice little power pose. And I'm gonna hinge at the hips, push the booty back, come into this nice flat back position. Good. Good. When you're ready team, feeling good here. We'll go ahead and venture all the way down. Plant the palms down onto the ground. If you're feeling extra bendy, you can bring the hands, work to bring the hands in alignment with the feet so instead of coming here and then bending. We're putting the hands in alignment with the feet and then try bending the elbows and coming down. Good team. Good. Sliding a little bit on this carpet. Spoke too soon, <laughs> but it is nice and soft for other uses. Good team, go ahead. Bring the hands back to the hips. Come on up right here. You can heel toe it back to center. Good. We're gonna go ahead and come into a nice mountain pose. So feet together, palms face forward. You're gonna deep breath in as the hands come up overhead. And exhale, palms to heart. Namaste. Excellent work today, team.
Thank you so much for joining me today, team. I hope you guys enjoyed this strength workout for runners. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button because I have new workouts coming every single week. And if I don't see you between now and Christmas, have a happy holidays. Thanks, team, and I'll see you guys next time.